what are you saying right now? I'll say this. Let me just let me ask you this. This is a weighted question. What? Okay, I'll tell you a joke. All right, here we go. So one of my favorite things, I don't have kids. I don't have kids. Anybody here have kids? Anybody here have kids? What the F? So one of my best friends was a guy named Norm MacDonald. Do you know who he is? He's one of my favorite people. Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> and turned off the spotlight. Yeah, dude. And they turned off his mic. This is wild. Now they turned off his mic. My name's Justin, I'm the Director of Operations. Uh, we've decided to conclude the show early uh, in the best interest of those who bought tickets. We apologize for uh, what you've seen tonight. Please email the box office. Uh, we'll be uh, responding to inquiries and processing credits and refunds. We apologize. Thank you very much. I'll be in the lobby if you have questions or concerns. Please email the box office. Thank you very much. Comedian Nick Swartzen, best known for his appearances in Reno 911 and various Adam Sandler movies, was escorted off stage 20 minutes into a comedy set at a Beaver Creek CO venue over the weekend due to bizarre belligerent behavior. The 47-year-old had been performing as the headliner at the Villar Performing Arts Center when the onstage breakdown occurred. Witnesses told TMZ that while some attendees were uncomfortable with Swardson's behavior, others cheered him on. In one clip that has since surfaced online, a woman in the audience can be heard heckling him, asking, what did you smoke before the show? In another clip, Swardson could be seen rambling and struggling through an impersonation of Jason Statham as the crowd erupted in boos. I can't take it, I can't take it, I can't take it a woman could be heard saying, before excusing herself to to bathroom. After Swartzen left the stage, the director of operations came out and apologized to the crowd, telling them that the show had officially been cut short and that refunds would be issued to those who bought tickets. The venue also apologized to attendees in an email that was sent to ticket holders.